Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know the background looks kind of different and that is because I am in the living room. Anyway, so today I wanted to film a products I regret buying and this isn't to, you know, talk bad about the companies or that the companies are bad. These are just products that I don't reach often for or just things that just didn't work for me. So the first things that I am going to talk about are palettes. Now I bought this specific palette when I think it was like two years ago when Sephora and Pantone Universe collaborated together and made this palette because the color of the year was orange. This palette is called Shades of Nature and as soon as you open it up you just see the big old mirror right there that is dirty and then you have the colors which are super super pretty and I have used these but I just this is not the palette that I would use on a regular basis, as you would say. It's one of those palettes that I am just never really going to reach for. And I just, I don't use it, so. And as you can see, they are super pigmented. It's just, I, I don't wear these colors all, all the time or on a regular basis, so. And another palette that it's probably going to shock you guys, or I don't know if it will, <laughs> But it's one of those palettes that are very well loved. And for me, again, it's just, it didn't work out. And I am talking about the Naked Palette too. Now, why don't I like this? I used to be in love with it. As you can see, it's, it's kind of beat up. It has like a huge dent right here. Packaging. I, I cannot travel with this one without getting a dent on it. And it has like a bunch of dents on there. To the colors itself, they're pretty if they are on a wet formula. If you grab like Fix Plus and spray it onto your brush, it will make all the eyeshadows look so pretty. But by themselves, they are super crumbly. Those are two of the main reasons why I don't like it. The packaging and just the colors are everywhere. Like if you look in here, all the eyeshadows fall down everywhere colors on this palette are so cool too like not cool as in wow these are colors are super awesome but they're cool tone and it may not go with everybody and one of the reasons why I just keep it is because I might do makeup on people that look great with cool tones but I am not liking this anymore for myself now moving on to a face product, I bought this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer and this is in light medium W45, but it's just, it's not working for me. I try to hide my imperfections with this and it's super cracky. It's, it doesn't even hide the blemish, it's just, you can see that there's something covering it. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that, but I do so much with this. Again, it's been never really used. I have so much of it. It blends super easily. I am going to say that, but it does not cover and it makes, I don't know, it emphasizes my pimples even more, so why even bother? And then another product also for my face. I remember showing this because I was super excited. It's It looked like something completely different. I am talking about the CoverGirl True Magic um, Skin Perfector. And what this is supposed to do is if you're looking shiny, it's supposed to mattify your skin. It really doesn't do anything. The packaging is so hard to open. Like I can spend ages opening it or trying to. It comes in this like silicone base and it feels really, really soft, but when you apply it to your oiliness, it just adds more. Then all the bad stuff gets clogged in here and then you have to dip it back in, back onto your face and it's just not sanitary. It didn't really do anything. Within an hour, I was still shiny. And as you can see, I put it on my face and I'm still shiny. So I don't really know what this is supposed to do. If you guys suggest anything to on how to use this properly well, because I'm pretty sure I'm not using it right, 
but because I'm not using it right I don't like it but if you guys have tried this and you guys have a sort of way to use it let me know and now moving on to another product this is the Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express and when I saw this mascara I really was excited because of the bendable wand and it really doesn't do much it just weighs them down the formula it's not strong enough it's not black enough it doesn't even hold up my curl and if a mascara can't do that then you are not working for me sir so now this is the last product that i'm gonna show i don't know if you've ever ever been so desperate for an eyebrow pencil but i was i've been changing my hair color so much to a point where buying an expensive pencil got really expensive. I wanted to go to CVS and find a cheaper alternative and I found these Maybelline Expert Wear eyebrow pencils and let me tell you, I don't like them. This is in medium brown and you can't, can you see this? Like that is Horrible. I had the hardest time filling in my eyebrows with this and it's just super chalky It's not even pigmented. I do not recommend them to anybody I don't know if they dried out on me, but they've been like that since day one So yeah, that was the products that I regret buying or purchasing and again I am not bashing all these companies. It's just these products that just didn't work out for me So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye